Welcome to Link Tutorial. This is Nitish, and in this part, we are going to learn about one more method of sorting operations. The name of the method is order by descending. So, in this video, we will learn what is order by descending method, and we will get multiple examples of order by descending method, and we will create all the examples using both that syntax. The syntax are query syntax and the method syntax. So, first. Let's understand what is order by descending method. Order by descending method is used to sort data in descending order. If you have seen my previous video of this tutorial, in that video we have learned about the order by method, and the role of the order by was to sort the data source in the ascending order. Now, if if the requirement is like that, we need to sort data in descending order. Then, for that purpose, we have one more method, and the name of the method is order by descending. Hence, order by descending method is used to sort data in descending order. We can apply order by descending method on any type. As we were using order by with multiple data types, with different data types, we were applying sorting in different ways. Same, you can use order by descending in all the scenarios. So let's see how can we use that. So let's create the demo, and for this part, let me open my Visual Studio. So here I am in my Visual Studio, and this is the same application, and it is a type of console application. And in this console application, I have a very basic program class and a main method. And now we will create some data source in this main method so that we can apply our sorting on the data source. So this is the very basic data source, and the data source is list of integers. And now we have to apply the descending sorting on this data source. So let's see how can we do that. So there are two ways to apply the sorting. One is the query syntax, and the second one is the method syntax. So we will create both the syntax. First, let's go with the method syntax. Where method syntax equal to data source dot order by descending so you can see we have two method first one is the order by and the second one is order by descending order by we have covered in the previous video and now we are learning about the order by descending so we will choose order by descending and using the lambda expressions you will write our condition and you am num such that num so we are going to apply the sorting on the number so basically we have written that variable here and then we will apply to list method to execute this query at this line so that's all we have to write here so for that for displaying the value on the console let me write a for each loop here where i type in the method syntax and then i will use the console dot write line method and i'm going to display item over here so let me put a breakpoint on console dot write line so first let's see what is available in the method syntax the method syntax has all the seven records which were available in the data source but you can see that the all the data all the integers are arranged in descending order so first we have 100 then 53 so you can see the order of the data it is descending why it is descending this is just because of the order by descending method so if you have any kind of requirement where you need to sort your data in order by descending then you can use this method in the method syntax like this and if i go to the console you can see that all the data is also available here in the descending order so using this way you can use your order by descending method now if we need to go with the query syntax let's see how can we write our query with the query syntax this is how we write our query syntax first of all we need to write the from keyword the, then the variable name and the variable name is num in data source int so you will see that we don't have order by descending method in query syntax. Whenever I type O R, the IntelliSense is showing me only one method, and the name of the method is order by. So now the question is, how will I write order by descending in query syntax? So the way is, you you should write order by then the variable on which you are going to apply your order by. So in this in my case, it is num. And then after writing the num, if you need to use order by descending, then you have to write descending keyword after the num. So this is how we use order by descending in query syntax. And then the normal process: select and new m, and that's it. This is our query. If you will see the type of the query, it is exactly same as in the order by. So if we apply to list method to execute this query at this line, you will see that 
the type of the variable is list of integers because we are selecting integers and then we are converting that data to a list using to list method so that's why the type of this variable is list of integers and now if i need to print the values on the console then i can use my data here in the for each loop and if i press f5 again let's see what is the result first you know what is available in the method syntax in method syntax data is sorted in the descending order now let's go with the query syntax in the query syntax you can see data is also sorted in the descending order so and if i go to the console screen you can see that the console screen also has the same data which was available in the method syntax and again as you are using their conditions the filter in the query you can do everything in this method as well how using where method where num is greater than suppose that is 20 so if you apply this condition you will see your data will be as per your filter and then sorted data so let's go what is available in the query syntax so there are only two records because there are only two numbers which are greater than 20 that's why we have only two records and both the numbers are in descending order so first first record is 100 and the second one is 53 if i go to the console you can see that both the data is in the descending order same if you need to apply your filtering in the method syntax then we have where method here and before order by descending we can use a method suppose i'm writing here it is it should be greater than 10 then let's see what is the output so in that case you can see we have four records because four numbers are greater than 10 and all the numbers are in descending order so now let's create some more examples using different data source and let me remove all this part so i have one more data source in in this data source i have some names basically the concept is that i have a list of strings and we need to apply some sorting on this list so first if i go with the method syntax then we will see so i'm writing it it is like ms method syntax then equal to so your data source string dot order by descending and you will apply your lambda expressions here how str or you can write name such that name and dot to list and if i use ms in the for each loop you will see let me press f5 now so you can see ms has all the records all the eight records and all the eight records are available in the sorted order so the sorting is done that based on the first character of the verb so basically first we have w then we have t s m e c a and a and if the first character matches suppose in the last two names we have anderson and allen the first a matches then it will go with the second character and in the second character we have n and because n comes later the letter l in the alphabets that's why anderson is above the allen so that's why we have allen as a last variable of this list and if you need to display your data on the console then let's go to the console screen and you can see all the records are also available here in the same order using the same approach we can write a query syntax also so where suppose query syntax it is and the from name in data source and you can use order by as you know we don't have order by descending in query syntax method so we can use order by method and then we can write descending here using this way we can sort our data in the descending order and then we will select the names that's it we can do this as well if i write here qs then this will also work there won't be any error let me press f5 now so you can see qs has a query which is a type of order enumerable that's why but if you are using to list method here then we will be able to see all the output from this query so you can see this is the source and in this source there is some query which is written and that query is getting executed in the for each loop so basically let's let me go to the console screen and in the console screen we have the same code using this way you can sort your data 
also you can filter your data as we were using in the previous example using the same approach you can filter your data in your this data source as well now let's go with some more complex data source and in that data source i have a class here and the name of the class is employee class and in the employee class i have some properties and for these properties let me create a data source for that part let me remove everything from this page so suppose this is a record and in this record we have three properties for each employee id email and the name and you can see the data is not in the sorted order it is in some different it is in random order so basically if we need to fetch all the records but on the user screen we need to display the data in the descending order then we have to apply order by descending method of link queue let's see how can we do that first we will use the method syntax method syntax it is what is the name of data source it is data source dot order by descending and and now at this time we have list of objects so we have to tell on what property we are going to apply our sorting so let let me so let me write the query suppose emp is the name of the variable and then such that emp dot now i have to choose on which property i need to apply my sorting suppose i want my sorting on the id column so we will choose employee dot id and then to execute this query i'm going to use to list method if we have to display the data on the console screen then how can we do that let's see item dot id and then suppose the name is equal to item dot name and then email will be is equal to item dot email now let me press f5 and let's see what is the output so you can see our query is executed here it has four records 1 2 3 and 4 because in our list we have only four records 1 2 3 and 4 and let's go to the output screen and let's see what is available there so first it is id then names and email and we have applied our sorting based on the id so you will see the id is available in the same descending format so this is working as expected now if i need to change the sorting on some other column you can do that also so suppose i so suppose now i need my sorting on the name column and we need to change the property here in the order by descending method and now again let me press f5 and let's see what is the changes in the output screen so now you will see that the sorting is done based on the name on the top we have thomas then smith then anderson and the allen and the id is not in the sorted order okay because we have applied sorting on the name that's why we have this structure of the data if you need to change your sorting based on the email then you can do that also now let's write this query in the query syntax where from emp in the data source and the name of the data source is data source then we have to write our query of order by on which property emp dot id and then descending because we need this data in the descending order that's why we have to write this keyword the name of the keyword is descending and then we will select emp and to by using to list method we will execute this query right here dot to list method and again if i use qs in the for each loop I press f5 now so you will see QS has all the four records and all the four records are to see the output we will go to the console screen we can see all the data is available in the descending order based on the id column using this approach you can sort your data in different data sources whether it is a list of integers or list of a string or it is a list of objects you can sort your data using these techniques that's all in this video thank you for watching have a great day and please like and subscribe the channel and the videos thank you